What is going on everybody and welcome back again to another episode from Key Points. Today we're going to be talking about another hot topic in the world of SDN. It's going to be the Catalyst Center, also known as the DNA Center, and the SD Access technology. My name is Ahmed Mofta. I'm a technical training and design manager here in Cisco, and we're about to explore and get you introduced to the world of SD Access with the help of the Catalyst Center. Don't forget, hit the like button, subscribe, and share the video. You're watching, you're learning, so this is the sole purpose of these videos right here. Watch, yes, that's a W, and learn. So let me just start here by taking you all the way back, all the way back to where, where exactly? Stone Age. Oh, wait a second, Stone Age? I thought we were talking about technology. I thought we were talking about 2023 with the evolution of uh, Stone Age, yes. Oh, question for you, humans, what did they do in order to survive back then? Not one word? Hunting, yeah, exactly. Their sole purpose was to just hunt, look for food 24-7 in order to just stay alive. That's it. That was everything that they were doing all the, all the time. But then, you know, the world has evolved and they started inventing things and they started like upgrading their lifestyles. Yes, that's what happened. And then came the agriculture age. Uh, don't have to waste your time looking for food anymore. You're going to be freeing your time to do something more beneficial other than looking for food well the food is going to be taken care of plants are there but you're going to be studying the world you're going to be free to do something better that's exactly what we need to do in the world of enterprise networking oh, yeah. enterprise networking what are you going to do exactly we want machines to take care of themselves when i talk when i say machines i mean routers and switches and Wireless line controllers and access, all those components within a an enterprise network. Make no mistake about it. We are talking here about the enterprise campus. All right. So we want those devices to configure themselves and troubleshoot and fix themselves. Is this a dream? Well, agriculture was actually a dream for the Stone Age humans, but now look at what we are talking about here. We are about to do something different, something more beneficial for the enterprise campus. But hey, wait a second. First, let's talk about the traditional enterprise network because this is what we do for a living. This is our life and there is nothing, there's no shame about our jobs as network engineers. What do you do exactly for a living? Routers, switches, uh, WLCs, you keep just configuring. You configure, 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 a CLI, dive deeper into the routers and those switches and then type your commands and then Fix whatever problems that you might need to fix, troubleshoot. This is your job. This is what you do every day. Routers and routers and routers and switches and WCs. Yes, and then you have to fix any kind of issue or problem that might happen. Well, that's not a problem. But the thing is, how much time do you have in order to configure and troubleshoot? Well, that's my job. This is what I'm being paid for. Well, what if I told you that we want to just save your time in order for you to just do something better, just invent, just enhance the network and let the network, meanwhile, take care of itself and configure itself? Who's going to help you with that? This is going to be none other than the Catalyst Center. You heard me right. The Catalyst Center now that's the new name of the former DNA Center. Yes, it was the DNA Center. Now, let me just write it down. It is the Catalyst Center. Yes, here we go. The Catalyst Center. Just keep that in mind because this is going to be the name from now onwards. Okay, we're dealing here with version 2.3.7. That's the latest version. This is where you're going to see this, this world taking over. The word or the name Cattle Center. Okay, well, fine. Cattle Center. It's a physical hardware server, which is going to do what? Which is going to take care of my network devices for me in the enterprise campus, whether we're talking here about routers, switches, access points, or WC. We're combining wired and wireless domains at the very same time. So this on the other end, here is your DNA center or the cattle center dashboard, which is going to take care of everything as a set. It's going to be a cycle. It's going to be a saddle off cycle of just, you know, pushing the configuration automatically and then activating this configuration into a context on those routers and switches and then retrieving telemetry and retrieving information from those devices in order to draw some kind of bench line and uh, benchmark and uh, trend line in order to be able to study the network and if something deviates from the standard it's gonna heal itself thanks to the cattle center again 
Well, well that's good. That, that's amazing. I mean, who hates this kind of uh, world? I'm so, I, I just want to dive into it. I want to get to know it more and deeper. But hey, wait a second. Let me just tell you one thing. The Capital Center itself could fit into the traditional enterprise campus. You don't want to migrate. You don't want to do anything. Just get that Catalyst Center server and then inject it into the existing enterprise campus without changing any kind of configuration and let it just take care of the network for you. Of course, you're going to have to interact. Of course, you're going to have to do something with the dashboard. But then again, there is no need to change anything. However, what if you needed to adapt a completely different network, a completely different paradigm, and change the enterprise campus completely with more benefits and add more features to your existing enterprise campus. Is that possible? Yes. If you try to configure some kind of overlay network on top of your underlay. Okay, well, what's my underlay in the first place? The underlay is the bunch of physical devices that we've just discussed, those routers, switches, WLCs, and access points. But the, if I need to just configure some kind of overlay on top of it, that is going to give me more benefits and more features to ease, again, I'm using that word, to ease the configuration and troubleshooting of my existing enterprise campus. For example, what kind of features are we looking for if I just configure that overlay on top of my existing infrastructure? You're going to get identity-based policy and segmentation. That's the most important benefit and the most important feature. You can segment your network on a macro level. Yes, you heard me right. On a macro level. Let me just write it down. On a macro. And also, you can segment it on a micro level. Okay, micro. Oh, well, what's the difference? We're going to dive deeper in the upcoming videos, but for now, we just want to just create some kind of high level segmentation with some kind of VNs or VRFs and then detail segmentation to permit or deny specific traffic flow based on SGTs or scalable group tags with the help of the identity services engine. Oh, you heard that. Yes, the ICE, the identity services engine, which means that the policies which are going to be injected within the network is going to be the responsibility of that specific server, the ICE server in addition to the Catalyst Center, in addition to the DNS Center. So we're talking here about two devices, two servers, two central controllers working side by side in order to give you the benefits and features that we are talking about over here. Also, let's not forget automation and automation of your network fabric. You're trying to make sure that the network gets configured automatically as much as possible, of course, but if you still want to configure it yourself, be my guest. And then not just this, also be able to retrieve telemetry information from those devices so that if something deviates from the standard, the network is going to troubleshoot and fix itself and heal itself. Let me just not forget, you can unify the wired and wireless domain altogether, which is going to eventually reflect on your cost, which is going to be cost effective. What is this? What is all of this? We call this technology the SD access technology. Okay, that's the access technology, creating that overlay on top of your underlay with the help of the DNA center and the ICE or the cattle center and the ICE server. I keep using that word DNA center because, yeah, it has just recently been updated, but, you know, the new name is the cattle center. Okay, well, tell me more about the combination of those devices, the cattle center plus the ICE server. What, what kind of devices am I expecting? Is it going to be fully virtualized? Is it going to be physical devices? Like, is it going to be a mix? What are we expecting? Yes, here we go. We are expecting these devices right here. So we have definitely this guy right here on the right, the Catalyst Center, <clears throat> formerly known as the DNA Center. And I'll say at the same time, oh, you might be asking, hardware or software, virtual or physical? Yes, it is a physical server. It's called the DN2 Hardware Appliance. But if you wanted a virtual image, now you can download that virtual cattle center on top of any hypervisor of your choice, any server of your choice, and then enjoy a virtual cattle center as well. That's now available. Previously, it wasn't there, but now it's available. Who else? The other device, which is very important in the world of SD access, the Identity Services Engine, the ICE server, which is, again, it could be physical hardware appliance or a virtual machine. The SNS 3500, which is your... Uh, 
secure network server, that's your hardware appliance. And again, you can still get a virtual machine. And if we talk about the routers and switches, well, the Catalyst 9000 series switches is gonna be mostly your hardware that we wanna focus on. You could deploy any kind of switches or routers from Cisco, of course, uh, but it's better if we move towards the Catalyst 9K series because this is the face of SD Access and this technology, which is going to cooperate more with the controllers that we have and give you the most benefits that you're looking for. Oh, that's amazing. So here are your key points for today. Well, the enterprise network automation is going to always be done by the Catalyst Center. Whether you want to do it just right into the traditional network without migrating it into an SD access one or whether you want to just completely migrate and have the SD access features and benefit. Also, let's not forget that the feature responsible for collecting information and monitoring the network uh, is called the network assurance, which comes already with the DNA center or with the Catalyst Center. The Catalyst Center is the hardware server or a virtual machine but the SD access itself is a technology. That's the name of the technology. Don't confuse these two words together. SD access is a technology. The Catalyst Center is the controller that can work in a traditional fabric or in an SD access network as well, where we can unify the wired and wireless infrastructure. And definitely don't forget that piece of information. We no longer use that word DNA center, although it was there for quite some time. The new name is the Cattle Center. <sighs> I hope that you like this video. Don't forget, like it. If you have watched that much, then definitely you like the video. So just hit the like button, subscribe, and share the videos. Let others benefit from it. And don't forget, watch and learn. Until next time, write to me right here down in the comments. Tell me about the next topic that you want me to talk about and stay safe. Take care of your network. Thanks for watching.